Hello guys, welcome back to Ray's Art and Tech Productions. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can download Lutris and you can download uh, and download Windows games on Lutris. So let's go ahead and get started. So if you don't know what Lutris is, Lutris is basically a Linux software that lets you play Windows games um, and uh, yeah, Linux games and Windows games. And even on um, browser games, if you can uh, download them. So let's go ahead and get started. So this um, video is going to be pretty long. It's not like not like thirty minute long, but like it's going to take some. It's going to take some time to get all of this to, uh, get done to get finished. And here's also I'm gonna warn you guys: you need to pay close attention because a lot of this stuff you need to. You need to put in right, and I'll, uh, before we start this tutorial, like I do with all the other ones, I'm going to put this in the description. And this time, I won't put it in Google Docs because I, I know that last time when I put my tutorial in, you had to get access and you had to email me. So this time, we're doing it through Google Drive, and, this, and with this, you, um, you can either just read it or you can download it. So. This time, I'm going to make sure that you guys don't have to go through all that mess. So now we're going to go ahead and get started. So what you're going to need is you're going to need Linux Beta. So when you go into Linux Beta, you need to make sure that it said it shows the same thing for me. If you don't have it, it'll show turn on like I say in all my other videos. And make sure that you at least have four to five gigabytes of uh, disk size on your computer because if you don't, you might not be able to download everything. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these next to each other and we're gonna go ahead and get started. So we already got a Linux beta. Now we're gonna install Wine. So first we're gonna down um we're gonna add architecture I386. So controls uh or well, actually before you even do that, sudo apt get update just to make sure that everything's up to date. Once you do that, then you go in and add the architecture. And this shouldn't take too long. Yep, there you go. And then you make sure you update again. And make sure that you update every time I tell you to, because you might end up messing up some if you don't update. So just make sure that you do it whenever I do it. Unless you don't want it to work. So once this gets done, we're going to go ahead and install the GNU PG2 software properties com uh, common command. So then we're going to go ahead and install that. That, sh that should only be like 25 megabytes. There you go. See, uh, if you didn't see that, I'll go back up for you guys. 25.3 megabytes of additional uh, disk space will be used. So once this get uh, once this gets done installing, then we're gonna go ahead and add this key. We're gonna and then we're gonna update it. Well, before we uh, add the key, we're gonna update just to make sure that everything's up to date. I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna um, widen the screen so it this doesn't mess up because I do not need that. Okay, so now it's done. We're going to go ahead and update. Once that's done, we're going to add this key. This might mess up, and I'll uh, if it does, then I will go and try uh, see what is wrong. Then I'll be right back. 
Okay, it's good. Okay, I, I was thinking that whenever it, it was crunched up, I thought it was uh, I thought it was gonna mess up the key, but it didn't. So now we're gonna go ahead and add this repository. This shouldn't mess up either. Okay, and then we're gonna add this right here. Let me uh, go full screen so this also doesn't mess up. You know that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go full screen. Oh wait, I almost did that again. I forgot to uh, control C, control C, X out of this. Oh my God, why is it doing that? Okay, <laughs> now let's control C, put this in here. Why is it doing that? Oh. Wait, no. Control. Oh, wait, okay, let's try this again. Control C. Unless I'm just like seeing stuff. There we go. Okay. I was confused. I was like, why is it doing that? Okay, now we're going to go ahead and add this echo command. Well, let's go ahead and sudo apt get update just to make sure that everything's up to date. I'm sorry for all of this updating, but I want to make sure that this works. Because I have tried this before, like before this video, I have tried to make sure it, it, it works before I make this video. And it has, um, it, it's like stopped working or just like the command wouldn't work. So I, I want to make sure that I update. Okay, that's how you know it works. And then we're going to update one more time. This should be the last time, at least for installing wine, for the installing wine part. Once we do this, here's the part that's going to be long because the uh, installing wine HQ stable right there, it is um, like it, it takes really long because it's literally like I'm not even being dramatic. It is literally 1000 megabytes. So. Yes, yes, OK. It works. See, it's literally 1,000 megabytes. So we can go ahead and say that that is um, a gigabyte right there. Like probably, it's probably like 1. Point, no, not probably, no, not 1.5. It's it's somewhere close to 1.5. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and start, and I'm gonna skip past this just for you guys, so you guys don't have to wait for this. Okay, guys. So we're back now. So now what we need to do is since we already downloaded Wine, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna download Lutris. So Lutris is uh, not that hard. Um, you just need to go ahead and download the Python three D bus. Mm, you know what? Before you do that, sudo apt git install. Just to make sure that it is. Oh, what did I just do? I, I meant sudo. Apt get update. <laughs> I know none of you, none of you guys put sudo apt get install. I don't know what I was thinking. Once that is done, then you can put the Python three debus command. So uh, from most of you guys, it should already say um, that it's already installed. We're gonna go ahead and update one more time, and um, we just gotta update one more time later, but later in the uh, tutorial. You guys, you guys can see already what I mean. There's only one more uh, update. We're going to get this right here, and yeah, for that one, it might say the same thing: newly installed. This one is going to install. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this one's gonna take like 22 megabytes. You guys are straight. So really, what took all that space was um was downloading a line, and then uh, one more thing that's gonna take um, a, a little bit of space is uh, installing Lucius. Lucius takes about what 700 megabytes. I think that's what it was when I tried it. Okay, that's how you know it worked. And once we get this widget. Um, command to work or this key then what if this works for you guys you guys have successfully downloaded and 
there we go. We have downloaded um Lutris successfully. Update one more time. This is the last update of the day. Once it's updates, you can go ahead and install Lutris. And you I'm uh, I'm yeah, I'm gonna skip past this download for Lutris because it's also gonna take really long. Well, not really long. It's not gonna take as long as um as um how uh, how long wine took wine five point zero point one took, but it will take a minute. This one should take like seven hundred megabytes. Please, yes, it worked. Okay, actually, I mean that's still around it. So it's gonna install, and I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, guys, so it is done. I accidentally <laughs> exited out of the um the terminal but that's okay so now what you need to do is you should see Lutris right here or somewhere in that bar and if you don't just go into Linux games and once that opens then you um you should um there's you shouldn't see any games but for me I will uh, or you will because it this recording has messed up two times but and I've already um downloaded Minecraft so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do this. We're not even gonna need the tutorial anymore. I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. So you know it, it has worked whenever you see wine. That means that you can now download Windows games on your Chromebook. So you're gonna go ahead to add game, you're gonna select wine run Windows uh, games, and you should see that game options, browse, and before you do anything on here, you need to go to your files, you need to go to your downloads, and you need to download a, a whatever game you want. You can download. I, I'm pretty sure you can download Epic Games a Launcher, and you can download like Fortnite and all that good stuff. And you should see the XE uh, Launcher inside of, of here. So once you do that, you just when you see that, you just move it over here. Go to uh, uh, before you move it, go to Linux files. You should see dot config. Go into there, Lutris games once you see that i've already did so um so i see this but for you you won't see anything what you need to do is you need to go back into downloads drag your file into games once you do that you should go into games you'll see the um xc file once you do that you're pretty much done you go to other locations computer once you do that just go to search search up lutris and you know it works or you did everything right when you see this you uh, slash USR slash games. There you go. You know you did it right. Just click on it. Press OK. Go back to it, and you you should see the file that you downloaded or the game that you wanted to download. I um downloaded Minecraft. You did the same thing. You should see the same thing. I see. And I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Thanks guys for watching. Uh, please smash that like button and um, subscribe. I remember I wanna get to that seven like goal. And comment if you want me to um, fix, like, uh, update, give you an update on something. Like, if you guys watched one of my earlier videos and it didn't work or something, remember, I will um, I, I will help you with that. Just make sure you comment. You can email me. You can text me. on. Um, if you don't know how to text me, go to, uh, go to my homepage and you should see, um, like, just on the home screen, you should see uh, my number and my email. I value the email. Because I might not see your text every time, so just know that. And I'm I'm going to end it here, and I'll see you guys next time.